So today I want to try and tame up some Thylas, but not just regular Thylas, our Thylas. So we're going to need to go to Asgard to do that. But before we go over there, I wanted to quickly craft up one of these saddles from this blueprint that I got the other day. So this thing is it's pretty decent. It's not the most amazing saddle blueprint. It is Ascendant though. So we've got 80 armor basically on it. And let's pop a crafting skill potion. Here we go. Please give me a good one. And let's see. Okay, 42%. That's pretty amazing, actually. Okay, cool. Let's quickly disable the crafting skill potion thingy, and let's pull that out. Okay, sweet. That is actually good. I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with that, so that will definitely work for us. All right, let's head on over to Asgard now. So we hold down R, by the way, to get into this, and uh, I don't know what button it is on console, of course, but yeah, maybe somebody can post it down below. We're going to go around here. I think we need to search the red foresty area to find the Thylas. And of course, they are the R Thylas, so they are very beautiful looking. And hopefully we can get some really cool ones here today with some good stats. And that way we can actually maybe try to take on some some other bigger creatures around here. I don't know, because like I need some good killing creatures, you know, not just flyers. I need something that I can have and just send in on like the Brontos and stuff that spawn around my area. So here we go. I don't know why, but like the teleport on this map always makes me nervous because it just goes black and I feel like I'm just going to crash. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, let's quickly zip on over to this uh, red forest area, which is like way over in this direction. Uh, let's see. You know what? It would have been really great on this map if we actually had different maps, because obviously, you know, when you're in these realms, you're just seeing the regular Furrier map. Honestly, if they were going to make any changes, and I, I don't know if that would be an easy one to do, but that would be a great change, having like all the realms having their own map or something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're probably not going to do that, but it would definitely be great. I, I'd say it probably would be too difficult to do. All right. Well, anyway, uh, this is the area that you can find them in. Honestly, if you can't find this red foresty area, then I really worry for you. There's a Thyla already. Let's see. Please be a good level because you are a beautiful color. Hello. What are you? 24. Damn it. Okay, cool. Uh, well, you know what? I actually pr should probably get onto a creature that I can easily kill them with. Uh, let's go with the Desmodus, which we actually have not named yet. I just realized. Plasma 3, maybe? Yeah, let's go with it. There we go. That works. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna just hunt down some of these dude. Where the hell did that guy go? He was, like, right here. <gasps> Is that him over there? Oh, dude, he could have snuck up and around me. Okay, great. Uh, what else do we have down here? We got a T-Rex and some other crap. Okay, cool. Let's quickly just take care of this dude. Try and grab his little talon thingy. Or not talon, hook claw. There we go. I don't know why, but like in my head, I was like, that looks like a, a talon. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. So we're going to have to find some good levels. Uh, let's see. This area does get kind of dark, so I might have to just, I don't know. Should we, should we maybe turn on the heat vision? I don't know. Would that be better? I want to see. I'm not saying that it's super dark here, but there's like a, a filter on this area that I would say I'm not the biggest fan of. Let's see. Let's hop on. Can I hop on, please? Are you going to let me ride? What the hell's happened? Game, what is happening here? Okay, I can ride you. Oh, yeah, you can't ride other flyers out here. I just realized it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I knew that, but I forgot. Okay, great. Well, anyway, I love the Desmodus for searching for Thylas. I don't know why I would ever use anything different. Okay, in this case, I should have probably brought my Carcano so I can move the, the Thyla because I definitely cannot pick up a Thyla with this thing right here. So... Yeah, I don't know. We're uh, we're gonna attempt this anyway. We're gonna see if we can uh, if we can just tame them on the fly. Cause I do have the neck gun and everything, so we're we should be good. We can you know trap them and then uh, kick the crap out of them with the unicorn. Um. Anyway, yeah. So here we go. Let's just keep searching, and I'll bring you guys back once we find something. But go ahead and do me a favor by hitting that like button. Really does help me out. I do appreciate it. And uh, there's like this purple tree in the middle of this red forest. We've got gotchas here as well. Whoa. My level 24 okay honestly we could probably just tame up some random like low level gotchas just to search for an element dust one at some point that could be a thing i don't know we'll see you know i gotta say i think it's really silly how you can't actually use flyers over here like why did they make that choice i don't think it was like that in the mod i really don't i mean i don't turn on that flyer cave setting by default so I don't think it was like that. Like, why the hell did they decide on that? It's so odd. 
And I, I know, like, you know, we could use the Desmodus here because it ignores all the flyer restrictions and everything, but I don't know. Like, what the hell's the point of stopping people from being able to use flyers elsewhere? Is it, like, to make PvP in this area more difficult? There's a Thyla. Hello. Uh, that's a 168, and it's right beside an Alpha Raptor. Okay, wait. Do they fight each other? Do they hurt each other? I don't even know. I can't pick them up. I can't do anything. Okay, they're not fighting. That's good. Okay, we'll get that 168, but I gotta kill that Alpha Raptor and everything else as well. So, oh, is that two Alpha Raptors? Oh, it is. It is two Alpha Raptors. Okay. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I, I gotta get these Alphas away from him. Ooh, come here. Follow me. Let's go over here. Let's go over here and fight. Okay, yeah, perfect. It didn't follow. I think we're good. Nice. All right, well, this is gonna take me. Oh, crap. I just hit a Stego. Okay, we definitely don't want to get knocked down by the stego. My phone is on loud. Let me fix that. Yeah, I don't want that stego, like, knocking me down, like, you know, with its tail, uh, whatever you call it, the impale attack. I do have to say, people are probably going to call me a hypocrite for using the uh, Desmodus over here, but not wanting to use it in caves. Personally, I will tell you that I just, it's just my personal preference that I don't use it when I'm doing caves. I mean, at least the first time, like I said before. You know, I've gotten a lot of grief over that for some reason. I don't understand. Like, I'm not criticizing people for wanting to do it. I'm just saying I don't want to, you know? I don't know, man. It's, it's hard to win sometimes. I think some people understand it, but then some people are like, well, you're just stupid. So yeah, it, it's weird. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm okay with using it over here. Like, it, it just, it doesn't feel right to not be able to use flyers over here. It just... It's not like you can fly like an RG down and grab yourself some rock drake eggs. Like, that's not a thing. And, I mean, they could also disable flying in the wyvern trench as well. Like, just make that a cave and then you wouldn't be able to fly. But I guess you could still fly the Desmodus regardless. We need to heal. Are you going to eat some of this blood there, bud? He should heal like a bunch once he eats like a couple packs here. We just got to wait for him to do it, though. They are not able to get up to me. That's awesome. Okay, cool. I mean, we could probably just abandon these guys and just continue to try to get that thyla but it's probably best that i that i kill them first oh we've already healed up a bunch nice yeah they i think it drank like 40 blood packs or something there it's crazy these guys are awesome they heal so quick if you just sit still well actually i think not you don't even have to sit still sometimes i've actually been healing during the battle like he'll heal up by like 2k or something it's kind of insane i want to know like is it percentage based or something like that would be great to know if if you know, if it's going to heal by like, you know, 40% or something during a battle, that would be fantastic because then we could just have lots and lots of health and just heal up by like, you know, 6 or 8k or something like that. I don't know. Could be great. Uh, oh my god, these guys are so annoying. Also, when you're landed on these dudes, the attack is so terrible. Let me see. Why am I like so far out of the saddle here? Very weird looking. Okay, are you going to allow me to hit that guy? Okay, great. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, by the way, that's only the second Thyla I've seen. Like, you saw me kill the first one. That's the second one. I actually haven't seen any more. So I'm hoping that we can get lots of them here today, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I did check around the lake, which I've definitely seen lots of them at before. But, um, yeah, didn't really, uh, didn't really find any yet. Maybe I'm going around too fast or something. I don't know. Wow, he just healed up by, like, 2k right there. That's crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, these guys are kicking my butt, though. Like, they are really hurting me. And they're not dying as well. Like, they're so close to death, both of them. I think they must be, like, the same level. There we go. Okay, no. They are very far apart in terms of levels. But, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, how many rune stones? 13. Nice. Okay. We'll leave the rest in there. I I'm going to leave that in there. I'm I don't even know why I was collecting those. Like, they have no use on this map at all. You don't need them for the boss fights. You don't need them for an overseer because there isn't any. So, yeah. Um, going to have to drop a bunch of this spoilt meat and stuff. And we also got three levels, which is great. So, melee. All right. So, that Thyla was around here somewhere. I don't exactly know where he went. Where are you, bud? Could you imagine if he was dead now? That would be the worst. Uh... That's a Carno. He was like right around here, wasn't he? Oh, is that him there? I think that's him. Uh, yes, that's there. She is. All right, cool. Let's uh just walk it up the hill here a little bit. I mean, kind of makes sense, right? Come here. Get it right up the hill, and we'll just uh we'll pop a net onto it, 
and then just we'll pull out the unicorn as well. Let me actually get the unicorn ready just so we have everything good to go for this. Uh, okay, it's not. Oh, yeah, okay. It was following me for most of that, but not all of it. Come here, bud. Little bit further. Here we go. Okay. Let's get you right up into the corner. And, oh, I'm in like, oh, I'm in the border. I don't like that. That's, oh, crap. Okay, stop. Ah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right let me i need like a little bit of uh you know lead up to the actual shot just so i can pull this thing out i don't want to potentially net my own dude which is definitely possible by the way there we go nice okay can we move now all right let's see how much torpor? pour oh yeah we should be able to knock this thing out before it uh before it wakes up let's kick the crap out of it <laughs> this is the best the best way of taming Get yourself a high level horse or a unicorn and then just level only melee. Let's see. Uh, we're halfway there, nice. Okay, I need to be able to see its name so I don't mess this up. Okay, let me just check you again. Getting closer. Two, three, four. Very, very close. One, oop, can't see your name. Let me see your name, bud. Uh, I feel like, yeah, one more. One more. There we go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go ahead and put you away. You know what? I should, I should name that, that unicorn something, you know? What's, uh, huh? What's like a boxer that's like, or, you know, just, I guess like any sort of fighter that like absolutely knocks the crap out of people. I mean, I think calling him like McGregor would be kind of cringe. Not gonna lie, like, a lot of Irish people think that guy's very cringe. I'm sorry that he's beating up old people. <laughs> I used to kind of like him, man, but, like, he... He fell off. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's leave him there. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's, you know, get off the topic of old people being beaten up and, um, continue to look for some more Thylas, eh? Doesn't that sound fun? I think it sounds fun. Alright, we probably can't go for too far from that guy because he, um, he's probably gonna need some narcotic i think i'm actually gonna look at dodo dex just to be 100 percent sure okay so yeah we won't actually need any narcotic and i completely forgot we should probably go ahead and make some elixirs nice we can make four of those all right sweet so yeah it's only gonna take it's funny it's only gonna take three kibble along with the elixir to get this thing tamed so that is pretty cheap if i'm gonna be honest we got a uteranus down there are there ex uteranuses on this map there probably is and they're probably on jodenheim they definitely are great uh so yeah we'll, we'll probably get some of those at some point that could be great um all right well anyway let me look around hopefully we can find another one before that one is teamed up that is a 180 direwolf and it's like a solid just one color look at that thing that's crazy looking cool i'm not gonna tame it we already have a bunch of direwolves and today is thyla day thylas are better as well you know i just thought of a genius name for the unicorn cosby <laughs> too dark probably oh that would be great though all right do we have any thylas in this village like i've only seen two so far i wouldn't have you know put out the plans to make this the thylat taming episode if if i hadn't known they weren't that common i don't know like i feel like every single time i've come here taming stuff you know we tame the the daedons here we tame the uh the direwolves as well every single time i've come here to do that i found lots and lots of thylas so yeah i'm, I'm not really sure what's happening here today nice okay <laughs> look at you look at these freaking patterns man these guys look amazing they really do i don't know if i actually prefer this over the classic thyla look i think that i like the back quite a lot but i think the legs could maybe you know that region could intersect a little bit more with the rest of it but you can get some really crazy wild versions of these thylas it's it's kind of awesome i like it all right let's see uh da -da, where are you there you are uh, 47 points into the stamina okay quite good definitely definitely very good um the rest not so good but the stamina great love that <laughs> awesome all right let's uh was that a raptor right there how long have you been there for <laughs> oh my god dude i did not see that thing the hell i had no idea that thing was there that could have been so bad all right Oh, 174. Okay. Perfect. Um, that is... How many have I killed so far? Um, since the last time 
I did a clip. Oh, we killed another one as well. So we've killed, what is that like? Uh, eight of them then in total. So yeah, there we go. Finally, finally a high level of 174 and it's a male. I, our other one's a female, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, I don't really know where to tame this thing. Probably like right around here. I mean, there's kind of like nothing around for some reason. Let's see. Come here, buddy. Here you go. Come on. Let's get you as close to this cliff as we can. Boom. Okay. And let's go ahead and knock it out with the unicorn again. So yeah, um, yeah, that is, uh, that's, that's pretty good. Hopefully it has some good stats though. That's the only thing, you know, <laughs> if, uh, it doesn't have some good stats that I'll probably have to keep looking, at least for the moment. Like we will eventually try to get some really, really good stats with these guys and get some cool mutations down the line. But, uh, you know, kind of have to, uh, kind of have to go around and get some more probably. All right, let's see. I don't think we'll really be able to get very many more here today. I mean, I went around killing a bunch of them, of course, but, you know, there's, uh, they're not really spawning in as fast, I don't think. Oh, thought it was about to knock out there. That was weird. Okay. I think it just pooped, maybe. <laughs> it just, it just pooped itself in the net. Okay, great. Let's put you away and let me just scan the area real quick. We're good, right? There doesn't really seem to be very much around here. I was probably just through here a couple minutes ago. I would imagine this one's new. All right, let's get you onto the list. There we go. And uh, yeah, we already have the elixirs, of course. Uh, let's put that away, actually. Nice. Okay, cool. So yeah, I might just chill here and protect it. Like, I really don't see us being able to find very many more of these things here today. So I think whatever we get with this one, we'll just breed it with this one for the moment. And then we'll have a Thyla that we can use. You know, they've got the bleed, so they're just good no matter what. But... You know, if if we got some good stats, that'd be great. I mean, its health actually seems to be... I can't see the health of my one. Hang on, let's see. Its health is pretty good as a wild creature, actually. 4,600, okay. Now, considering my tamed version only has 600 extra, I would be willing to wager that we probably have at least 40-something points into that health, I think. Maybe. Nice. Okay. Let's check you out. I can already tell it's got much better health. Let's see. Um, 45 points. Okay. 40 points into the melee. Melee is not amazing, but it's definitely better than our previous one. And like I said, they do the bleed, so it makes them really good. Uh, 45 points is pretty good. All right, cool. I think we're just going to head back with these stats. Like, we, we're not really going to find any more around here. I think we'll just have to keep coming over here occasionally. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I teleporting to Asgard when I'm in Asgard? So stupid. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's take the easy way home. <laughs> Just gonna drop myself out of the sky. Oh, I love this. You know, it's either this or, you know, I gotta figure out where exactly I need to spawn back at. You know, I don't know where to teleport to. I don't want to know things. All right, now here's the thing. I gotta grab my guy before I completely fall. Come on. I got him. <laughs> oh, crap. I gra grabbed a bunch of crap as well. Let's uh get rid of that then before we... Before we land on the ground here <laughs> what the hell's happening what the hell was that what what did i just see okay nice <laughs> i don't know what the hell that, those colors were i think that was the same thing that happened on the spyglass i still forgot to put down a freaking bed god damn it all right mustard take me home we're only like down here so it's not like a major trip but definitely need to place a bed down here gonna do that immediately i actually meant to do that at the end of the last episode but very clearly I, I forgot to do that so yeah <laughs> let's see let's get that bed made immediately all right right around there is good okay so now the thing that we need to do is breed these uh thylos together and just combine all those good stats so yeah let's get that going i don't really have like a proper breeding operation or anything over here so we're probably just gonna have to do it like right here so yeah uh i'll bring you guys back once we have all the stats combined okay so it took me a little while but we did manage to get a male and a female with the same stats so let's go ahead and chuck them out so there they are um probably not the best colors from all of the thylas that we had but it will work for the moment you know we're gonna replace these colors with mutations eventually so yeah although there was one really cool looking one here which one was it was it this one let me show you like this one just kind of looks so awesome i love it i really do it would have been great to have these colors on that baby right there and i mean i can do that but that's just gonna take extra time and honestly it's probably not worth it all right i should probably grab out another one as well just so we have one that we can actually use because these two are of course going to be the breeders for the moment 
you know, eventually I'll probably try to get a higher melee stat. I think I'd be okay with the health as it is and the stamina as it is, but definitely a higher melee stat would be good. So what should we name the Thyla that we're going to ride on? I don't have any cool names right now, so I guess we're not going to name it anything. So I think I'll just, I'll just put something on it there. There we go. That works for the moment. Just so I know, this is the one I'm going to imprint. I'm not going to bother imprinting the other two. All right, well, you know what? I can't think of a better way to test out and level up a new team than going ahead and just doing a cave. So we're going to do, a, I think it's a relatively short one. And I think there was also two artifacts in it before. There might not be any more because we've already been in two caves now where there were two artifacts, but now there's only one. So yeah, it's this lava cave over here, though. Let's see. Uh, whereabouts is the entrance? There it is. You can see right through the map. There it is. Awesome. All right, let's see. So I got a bed to place down. You can place that down off the back of a creature. Boom. And um, so here's the coordinates. Where are we? We are right. Map. There we go. We're right here. And uh, it's this little entrance right here. So I believe at the very start of this uh, little cave, there is a little bit of lava damage that you're going to take because it's like dripping down off the ceiling. But I think that goes away afterwards. And we might have to do a little bit of parkour here actually as well. So that's making me kind of nervous. All right. And I only brought 10 grapples again. I keep forgetting to bring extra. All right. Let's do this then. And are we taking the damage from the lava? Doesn't seem like we are. You definitely did in the modded version, but you know, it might be different now. I just remember I was just taking like a bunch of of like little bits of damage and I thought it was like the heat that was killing me but it was actually like all these drips right here I think where the hell do I jump from here because like I probably can't walk along there can I I mean I kind of want to continue doing the jumping but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that like where the hell do I go uh I'm just gonna grapple to there then I guess there we go cool all right, um, I guess maybe shimming along this like little ledge right here was probably the way to go. I don't really know. All right, let's keep going through. Oh, this is a, that's a big jump. Okay, that's making me nervous. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're fine. Let's go gamma three just so we can see a little bit better. Uh, okay, let me jump to this. Ooh. Oh, I nearly bounced. Okay, I jumped way too far there. That was a bad idea. Um. Do I go there and then there or this one instead? Probably this one. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's do it then. Ooh, uh, okay. We're fine. I think this lava is not instant kill, but I think it does like 200 damage or something. That is a big ass jump. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that. Uh, let's do like a run up from here. Oh, okay. That's, that's an issue. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Oh, dude, my nerves are killing me. All right, well, we got a drop over there, so I'm just going to go ahead and grapple to it. Nice. We've also got a rune, too. Uh, probably some creatures were falling down there, I would imagine. Let's see. What do we have? Uh, okay, let's actually do the same that we did in the last cave. Just make, like, a little folder for loot. Boom. Um, okay. Ooh, we got creatures around. Oh, wait, is there Desmodus in here? Please tell me that there's no Desmodus. Okay, they're Onic. That's good. All right. I would prefer not to have to deal with the Desmodus because, you know, they uh, they can pull you off your mount. That doesn't sound fun in a lava cave, <laughs> you know? In any other cave, maybe. Maybe that could be fun, but not in a lava cave. That's just painful. Uh, okay, can we get across here without having to waste another grapple, or do I actually have to waste another grapple? I probably have to waste another grapple. All right, let's do it. There we go. Okay, and, uh, let's pull out the Thyla. I can hear a snake. Can't see it. Uh, there it is. I just want to shoot at this Arthro first. Okay, we're probably going to get rabies here. Get off of me. All right, well, I shot a little bit at that Arthro. Got to watch out for the spit. Okay, now we can plan our little attack. Also, this, uh, this Thyla is not leveled up at all. So, you know, fresh levels right now. Hopefully, oh, okay. Don't spit on me. Hopefully we don't end up losing too much damage or health even. Come on. Die already. There we go. Oh my god, that's a super high level. Come on. We do have a really, really good saddle though, actually. I've just realized. <laughs> I'm like taking all these hits thinking, oh yeah. Like not even looking at the damage numbers. We're good though. We, we should be good, I would say. We can also make things bleed as well. So if they have a lot of health, um, you know, I think it's like 5% over 5 seconds. Kind of crazy actually. The Thyla bleeds like, you know, 
it's honestly insane i mean in the uh scorched earth 100 days video i i managed to take out a freaking titanosaur with it which was difficult by the way definitely not the easiest thing to do because i had to avoid its attacks because it was doing a lot of damage but yeah thylas are kind of insane in that way uh let's go ahead and pump everything into melee for the moment um i will actually be grabbing out this chitin and this uh hide as well just so we have it because definitely need to be continuing to stock up on this stuff i mean i wasted like well not wasted but i used like six thousand hide on the saddle here today so yeah need to be uh keeping up on all that here we go we got some scorpions uh and take out these dudes Come on, how much damage have I taken? Wow, I've already taken like 2,000. That's a crazy amount. All right, come on. Almost, there we go. Nice. So uh, there are two directions that you can go here. I can see there's an artifact over there. It looks like the artifact of the pack, maybe. But there was also an artifact on this side, too, in the modded version. Again, it might not be here now. Uh, like, they have been changing quite a few things, so we'll see. But is there any drops down here? uh we've got oh we've got red gems down there which are probably the element shard gems i've heard that they uh they basically spread those out because of the pvp community because like i think people were like for some reason i guess you could build inside of the magma sword like area like the the tunnel going down to it which in my opinion is the stupidest thing ever like why would they allow that that is so silly but um yeah that was like the only spot that you can get them at or something like that so they're kind of spread out all over the place now which is pretty cool so I guess you don't have to go to a super, super dangerous area to get yourself some, um, some red, not red gems. What are they called? The shards. There we go. Bunch of snakes. All these creatures are coming at me in twos. Like little pairs of creatures coming. Uh, so I don't see the artifact. Well, I don't see a glow for one at least, but there was one on this side. Oh, is there one? Oh, is there actually one? That looks like the artifact of the clever, maybe? Okay. So this, out of all the caves that... Oh, oh, crap, I've got rabies. Great. Out of all the caves that had two artifacts, this one kept the two of them? That is odd. That's very odd to me. <laughs> I mean, okay. Like, I kind of think the swamp cave should have kept its two artifacts instead of this one, but I don't know. That's just me. All right, here we go. Come on. Freaking bats, man. Die already. Okay, that one's getting low. This one is still above half health, so that one's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. It's finally getting down to, like, half health. Uh, so when that symbol starts to appear, that actually literally means it's at half health. Um, and then, obviously, the, the closer it gets to red, the closer it gets to death. But, yeah. Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they were mate boosted, so kind of the worst. That is a lot of chitin. That is a lot of high. Well, a decent amount of high. It's not that much. Okay see grab all that uh gotta watch my health here as well luckily i have the medical bruise now which is great so yeah uh so wow like yeah look at that like they actually kept this one in i mean this one's the cooler one i think like this area is great but um that's very surprising we've also got a yell drop over there as well nice okay will i even be able to get back up to that spot there i mean like i did see this rune and i do want to grab that with the thyla let's see there we go we get it nice let's kill these dudes now <laughs> so yeah uh i don't know i should be able to get back up to that spot with the thyla right i mean we can climb we just can't you know launch ourselves at crazy angles um i might yeah no we can we can jump to that we'll be fine let's see so yeah this is the artifact of the clever very nice cool so that is the right hand side uh tunnel and then the left i think might be the pack it looked like it i'm not sure though Wait, the artifact of the clever is used for the broodmother as well right and then i know the pack is so are there two of the artifacts that we need for the broodmother in the same cave it's kind of handy all right let's grab this boom nice okay let's turn around here gotta try to nothing else down here right i don't think so okay gonna try to get back up and around there let's see See, like, that spot right there, like, you definitely couldn't jump back like that as a player, but I could probably do this in the back of my thigh. Like, it looks like if I fail, I should still be able to, you know, not fall in the lava. <laughs> I could always abandon my thigh and grapple if I need to. Uh, do I have rabies again? Bro, why are you guys so contagious today? I've done so many caves, but, like, you know, this is only, like, the second time I've gotten rabies so far in the series. Uh, you guys are the worst. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, die already. Let's do it. Do the death animation. Here we go. There we go. Lovely. Little rag doll in the air. If that's how creatures actually died, that would be so weird. All right, let's see. Let's grab this. Um, gonna drop all. Gonna level that up. Uh, I'm gonna pop some brews. And boom. Yay, there we go. I had a feeling that we'd be able to jump up there, but you know, there's always like this nervous side of me that I'm gonna like screw up so bad like that on on a video and <laughs> and then like end up in the lava with my new thyla oh uh, that would be the worst okay there's nothing else down there right cool i think that the skins in the modded version were on the other side i believe i can't remember i think that they were all right let's see i'm not missing anything right because like sometimes some of these caves just have like hidden drops uh we have those gems there yeah 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 so this spot right here those little runes that's where the skin was so cool let's uh let's continue to pop these i'm dying so much right now like at least the heat's not killing me as well but like god damn these freaking rabies they need to go away let's drop like a bunch of these all at once eat some food uh i'll poop real quick that will help me need to eat some more food soon come on all right let's pop another one of these okay yeah uh let's just run straight over oh do we have a drop there that's a red drop <gasps> Okay, no, he's gonna spit on me. Crap. Okay, there we go. Got him. He's only a low level. Probably could have killed him with the Dyla, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we got a red drop down there. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. If you jump through these lava curtains, does it hurt? I don't remember if it does or not. Can I hit you? There we go. We'll let these creatures fall into the lava if we can. Okay. Come on. Almost. Don't give me rabies again, though, please. I gotta start bringing some freaking antidote with me from now on. Definitely need to do that, because, like, <laughs> this, this is becoming too painful. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, it would be a mistake to jump down there with a Thyla, I would think. Oh, there's lots of bats, though, so I might actually need to. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we'll grab that on the way back, just so I, uh, you know, I can keep my Explore Note buff on my guy. That would be great. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's pump that up. And boom. Okay. So, yeah. The other artifact is right there. Nice. Let's just run right to it, actually. Because all these creatures are going to follow me. And then we can just fight them all at once. Provided that there's not, like, ten Arthros. Then we should be good, right? I can see one Arthro. So, yeah. That is the artifact of the pack. Come on. Yeah. Let's get through here. Oh, crap. Arthur's. Come on. There we go. Got him. Okay. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> There's so many things on me. Oh, crap. This is too much. This may be too much. No, we're fine. We'll be fine, baby. I'm waiting for the rabies to kick in. It's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> Come on. Die. Here we go. Here we go. Almost. Almost there couple more things to kill come on dude kill them <laughs> oh come on okay we can at least move around a little bit we're not constantly being webbed here here we go a couple more hits and you just healed god damn it okay this dude's a high level there you go yeah he's a super high level that scorpion there we go oh yeah look at that level 348 just like a super low level 348 there's a red drop nice Okay. <laughs> there we go. Almost. Got him. Okay, are we good now? I think we're good. Somewhat. There we go. Got it. Uh, you are super hurt. And there's more. Get out of here. Oh my god. Where are they coming from? Okay. Wait, is that... What is that? Is that an egg right there? I think that's an egg. If that's an egg, I'm stealing it. Let's see. It is. Thank you. Love those things. Okay. Uh, do we have any other drops or anything to grab over here? We do. We have a rune. Nice. I'm glad that I checked. Here we go. These runes could easily blend in in this cave. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. Luckily, we don't get knocked back on these dudes, but like that was kind of intense right there. Uh, yeah. I think I might actually need to swap out to the, uh, the Andrew Sarkis here soon because I don't think I can really push through the rest of the creatures in this cave with the Thyla. 
Not at this point. Like, I'd need to heal it. And I don't really want to try and heal it fully in here. Um, just in general, though, let's pump this up to, like, 10k. That's, that's good enough. It's not exactly 10, but there we go. Um, okay. Let's see. Anything else? I know that there was another Arthro. Let me just get ready to kill it. It was, like, over here or something. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Here we go. Boom. One shot. Okay, so I think we grabbed everything that we can grab. I can hear that snake. There it is. It's just gamma up. I can't not see anything. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's uh, grab this red drop then. Here we go. And what's in there? Oh, is that better? Oh, that's almost as good as my rifle, but my rifle was a straight up rifle. That's a crafted, well, that's a blueprint to craft a rifle. So yeah um that's pretty good oh crap now i'm gonna have to take fall damage unless unless i just hop onto a creature and then jump down with it makes more sense i don't actually carry around the glide suit anymore i know i had that at the very start of the series but it just kind of became too annoying to uh you know carry around because it's so heavy but yeah um i don't know maybe eventually we'll start using the thing again because I, I do I do like the glide suit, but like I, I have the really cool Viking skins and I like those and I want to wear those. So it's, uh I don't know. It's kind of annoying. Let's see, ooh, chest piece. Nice, okay. Let's see, we got to fight this Onik here. How much health do I have left? Okay, we still got 1500, so we're good. But like, yeah, these guys are feisty. It would be great if I could wear the glide suit along with the uh the skins though i don't know like if the glide suit took up like the shield slot i think that would be a lot better <laughs> just in my opinion maybe not everybody agrees with that but i'd prefer that here we go all right are we good i can see another yellow drop already okay let me just try and run straight for it uh, i don't think i can make that jump i definitely don't think that jump is possible <gasps> There's a freaking Onik. No. Yeah, let's do that. Um, is he going to come for me? Oh, yeah, he is. Sweet. Yeah, there we go. At least I'm not going to get rabies on the back of this dude. I guess that's why I haven't been getting any rabies. Because I've been using the Andrew Sarkis for like, most of these caves and everything. So, yeah. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. So, oh, there's another Onik. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to just shoot him before I before I hop over there. Because I don't want to have to pull out my creature again. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Crap. Okay. Let's try and aggro them. i got to actually hit them, though. There we go. Okay, there was the other one. Is he coming, too? Oh, one just came out of the wall. Dude, that's not fair. Okay, this one's very close to death. Nice. Okay. I might go for the grapple now. Put you away. Go for the grapple. We're good, right? Here we go. Oh, okay. Not bad. I don't actually think I have... Yeah, I don't have a blueprint, I don't think, for the... Um, what do you call them? The ghillie uh, boots. Here we go. Let's try and get back here. Crap, I didn't grapple far enough. All right, one more. I didn't grapple far enough again. <laughs> um, I mean, I could try and just get out of here by just, you know, jumping in the lava. I'm pretty sure that would kill my Feared Hawk, though. Yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> Let's see, how many grapples do I have left? I have one left, so I might have to climbing pick a little bit out of here if I need the assistance. So let's grab that, get that ready. Um, let's see. Where's my water? There it is. I mean, I think I'll be able to get out of here for the most part. And if I fall, then I should still be able to grab my stuff. I don't think this lava is that deep. All right. Let's at least get this ready just in case. Nope. That was totally going to be death. I don't even care. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to have to get back over here now. I'm totally going to die here. <gasps> Oh, that was so close. Okay. Did not like that one. That one was scary. Um, I'm going to go this side. Oh, you know what? No. We're going to climbing pick out of here. I don't trust this area. I really don't. Oh, we could have just ran along this side. Interesting. Okay. 
gotta gotta watch out you know what let's let's uh just climbing pick up to the ceiling can we do that can we not climbing pick on the ceiling are you serious okay let's try and walk along here here we go uh i don't where am i going there we go okay So yeah, this is that one spot where I was too nervous to make the jump. I should still be able... Yeah, I should be able to get out here. We should be good. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Just keep climbing, picking. Can we do it on the roof? There we go. Now I can. Okay. This is cool. <laughs> this is this would be a great thumbnail. Uh, all right. Boom. Nice. I did it without having to fjord hawk my way out of there. All right, sweet. Well, there we go, guys. We have Thylas now. We have really good saddle for the Thylas. The cave is deloading. It took ages. Um, and now we have all of this loot as well. Actually, let me chuck it all into the folder. Let's take a little look what we got. I was waiting for you to aggro. Throughout this whole time, I've been putting all these things into the folder, and it didn't aggro on me. So, yeah, there's all the loot that we got. We got that nice long neck blueprint, which we will definitely craft a couple of. I might need to crap or I might need to go harvest up some more metal for that though, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, everything else is somewhat okay. I mean, like, you know, for a chess piece, can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah. So anyway, that is going to be it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you, if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We reloaded and are we deloading the cave or are we reloading? Are we good? That was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.